What's happening, fellas? How you doing this Saturday morning here? And uh, we're here with Rob Rochi, the owner of this 1980 Harley Davidson Ironhead Sportster, which he bought in 1980, which was 44 years ago. Is that correct? That's correct. How's it going, Rob? It's going great. Uh, you're all the way from New York, a couple hours away. You came yeah. down here and uh, wanted to take a look at the restoration work. We just did a full cosmetic restoration on the bike. He had previously rebuilt, had the engine rebuilt professionally. It's one of the best running original iron heads we've ever had here in the museum. Rob, tell us a little bit about your your um, your lifelong journey with this bike. Well, how did it start? How old were you when you got it? I bought it when I was 20 years old. And I bought it from Reggie Pinks in White Plains. And uh, I went down there with a, a pocket full of cash and okay. bought the motorcycle and rode it home. And all I did was uh, polish it up and keep it running beautifully all these years. It's remarkable how original is, I believe that, it, is that the stock original exhaust on the motorcycle? Everything is 100% original the way I uh, brought it out, of, uh, got it out of the showroom. The the only thing uh, we changed when we got it is, um, the, the, I think it might have had the original chain on it, I'm not sure. Was that the original chain that was on there? Uh, I think I bought another, I bought another chain for it, uh, but yeah, the chain that you put on looks beautiful. So we put a new uh, new gold chain on it, and also I think a rear tire too, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's this is a brand new rear tire. To, okay. I'm zoom in, zoom in here. You can see the airy nubs on it. So, uh, yeah. So for 44 years, did you have any other motorcycles, or was this your main squeeze? Uh, my first motorcycle was a BSA 441 when I was like 15 years old. Yeah. Yeah. So you mess around with it, right, right to the iron head. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I, I sold that and uh, got this a few years later when I was 20 years old. So for a 44-year journey. Uh, what was the big, biggest uh, uh, trip you took on it? It has just 10,063 miles on it. So it wasn't like you, you rode, rode the wheels off of it, but you did, you did ride 10,000 miles. What was your, your favorite journey? Uh, I... I um... Most of the miles were put on the first few years I had it, and didn't go on many many uh, long trips. Went out to Jones Beach a few times uh, with uh, my my cousin Frank. Had the same model but black, and uh, yeah, we went out there a few times together. So this motorcycle is other than the the hundredth anniversary one I took out of a crate. Um, this is the most original Ironhead Sportster we ever had through the shop. I want to point out a few key things. That's the original saddle on the motorcycle, am I correct? That's the original seat, yes. The original saddle and the upholstery yeah. is still excellent on it. Uh, all the chrome is original. The exhaust is original, which is remarkable. That's usually the first thing people do is butcher the, the intake and the exhaust. Us in the industry call this a ham can right here, this air cleaner. A lot of these were taken off to find a ham can alone. An intake that's this pristine and original is remarkable. And the gentleman you had rebuild the engine was a real pro because there's no evidence, there's no strip bolts, there's no get gaskets, gasket seals sticking out of spots. The guy who rebuilt this engine, um, I, I, I have to wonder, did it, did it really need it at 10,000 miles? But whether it did or not, um, usually usually an iron is not worn out with 10,000 miles, but great thing to do, refreshing all the, the, seal, the seals and gaskets on the top end so it won't yeah. leak oil. Was it leaking oil ever or? No, never leaked oil. It's th This is another iconic piece right here. That is, that's the original Harley Davidson um, cam cover. And um, yeah, just, just unbelievable. This is not chrome guys. This is the original battery aluminum. That's not been chromed. That's the original aluminum. The, I want to point out these fork lowers too. These are not chrome. Those are the original aluminum that uh, have been polished as this original chrome and the paint. I think the most remarkable thing for me is how nice the paint job is on it. One, it's red, red and chrome. Red and chrome goes together like, uh, you know, uh, soda and potato chips. I mean, uh, hot dogs and apple pie and Chevrolet. You know, red, red and chrome on a Harley is, is outstanding and it looks really good in the pictures. And of course the video it just pops, but this is original uh, AMF paint from 1980. And it's unretouched. Uh, we just used new coat after it was cleaned and polished. We used new coat, which is the Lars Anderson Museum. Um, 
taught us about a few years ago. It's a polymer sealant uh, that will preserve paint basically forever without changing the original patina on it. Look at the gauges on this thing. They're super crisp and clear. Usually the gauges get worn out. This bike's gonna be 50 years old in six years. And in six, the, the, the windows we have in the museum here are 100% UV it's sitting in front of the window, but these are 100% UV protected windows. They cost $1,267 each. How do I know? I bought 240 of them and it was really freaking expensive, but <laughs> these, so this bike won't, the one thing that would, would destroy this bike is if it sat in the sun, number one, it would wash out the finishes, or two, if it got wet. And we're on the second floor of, of an all wood and, and brick building that's kept at a constant temperature year round. So as long as it stays here, it'll, it'll stay this way. And I think whoever, wh wherever this bike goes, as long as it's, it's kept indoors, and I would ride it, you know, ride it, uh, you know, I wouldn't make it a daily, but ride it every couple of months and start it, you know, keep fresh ethanol free fuel in it. And uh, if, if, if uh, somebody takes as good care of it for the next 44 years, you and I probably won't be around, but <laughs> that was a, uh, father time is still undefeated. But as far as father time being undefeated, this bike comes about as close to beating father times as any sportster I've seen from this era. Uh, truly remarkable. When you guys watching this, let me know if you, if, you, if you know of a video of a cleaner original 80 Ironhead uh, posted in there. Let me know what your thoughts are on this. And, uh, I'd like to mention one thing. I did have a, a different um, carburetor on there okay. and air filter. Yeah. And I never liked it. And I had um, John at Westchester Motorsports. They re rebuilt this uh, carburetor. Yeah. Because I love the way this air filter looked. It's spectacular. Yeah. It's, a, it's the calling card of the motorcycle, really. Yeah. So that's the original carburetor, also. Yes. Yep. It, it, well, maybe it was a good idea you took it off, and, and so it didn't get ruined over forty years of having yeah. crummy gas in it. You know. Yeah. So yeah, uh, this view from this directly on right here, in my opinion, is 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 um, you gotta sh you gotta show show them the back of my shirt, Christy. This 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 is this is our this is our company logo is an Iron Head Sportster. Um, that one's a, a, a XLCR cafe racer, but this it, one thing that's always struck me since I was 12 years old and the first time I saw an XLCR Ironhead is how uh, cool this engine looks. Um, it, it's what it's kind of the epitome of what a what a Harley engine should look like, and there's no no um, no plastic on this bad boy. It's all all iron and, and, and steel and and chrome. So. Um, I guess once you had this, you never really felt like you needed a new motorcycle, right? Because you, you you had one, and, and you yeah. and it's an iconic piece. Yeah, it's uh, like I said, all I did was uh, start it every year, ride it around the block, and keep it clean, and kept it running nicely. Now, one of the other bikes we have on display here, this is the uh, shovel head that, that is uh, named Punisher for obvious reasons. If you take a look at it. Uh, Al Bucheri, who was a fan of the Punisher uh, series, built this bike. He's, he's a friend of yours, isn't he? He's a friend of a friend, yeah. Friend of a friend? Yeah. It's a small world. Yeah. So did he tell you about us, or how did you find out about us? Uh, my friend, my friend Tommy said that, uh, that Al donated this motorcycle and uh, gave me the name of your, of your shop and uh, decided to do the same. The, uh, the second bike now is our museum curator, Carl. He, um, he's been very ill. Uh, he's not, not with us right now, but um, the third one down is actually a police motorcycle that was donated by the uh, New Britain Police Department. And uh, we restored that one, uh, did a frame up on that one too. And they, they come here once a year. And uh, the, the, the fourth bike down is a friend of mine's uh, who passed away? His son overdosed on heroin, sadly, and um, moved this Moochie's bike, and uh, that that'll be here forever. So, got some really cool classics here. That that one after that is a, a seven mile, uh, 1973 Z1900, and we could spend the rest of the day going through all 300 of them. But I have to go to the FXR show. Uh, stay tuned, guys, because a little bit later today, I'll be dropping some killer footage of the most badass Harley FXRs. Junior and I are riding the two FXRs we just restored. Uh, and I, I, I got a, uh, the, 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 uh, the 1 800 Lemon Law attorney, guy who owns that, that uh, 
that franchise. Um, this is his motorcycle, and this is a picture of his wife uh, 30 years ago. And uh, she um, she's part of uh, part of the history of this bike. But uh, this he had this hand built from scratch, and this was this was uh, going into the museum too. This is actually it's, it's not a hard tail; it's a soft tail chopper. Which uh, Springer, which is a pretty badass ride. I'm looking forward to riding that thing. But um, back to the iron head here. Rob you did an awesome job. Um, he's going to come to the FXR show with us too. I think we're actually heading down to old school Harley Davidson to see the most badass FXRs on the East Coast. They'll be there, including two of my own. So we'll see you see you guys down there. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe. And Rob, thanks again for uh, for trusting this yeah. stunning piece of Americana motorcycle history and, and uh, a testimony to the quality of the, the Iron Head Harleys. This one, this is all original, 44 years old, Diamond. Thanks for watching. God bless America.